Bartlett just slowing this one down. Banks looking down low to McCauley. McCauley goes up and gets it to go for a two. Hobart retake the lead by one. Now Banks into McCauley. McCauley now looking at options here. Goes cross court to Bartlett. Down low to Tompkins we go. And it's a nice play there by Angela Tompkins. Kamek puts it to the floor now, putting on some moves. Needs to kick this one out. Back to Porra. Shot clock at two. She puts it up and gets it to go from deep. I hail Mary on the shot clock buzzer there for Gemma Potter. So Bradley off and running. Has options up the floor if needed. Now goes into Tompkins. Now Thompson for three. Yes. Bradley splitting for a couple. McCauley on the run. Can't get the two Tompkins for the scraps. Yes. And now Parker with it as we come down the floor. So Parker, now McCauley. Thompson for three. Yes, back-to-back -back triples for Shana Thompson. But play now with Kamek. As Kamek works her way through. Now the shot goes up by Potter. Yes, and Gemma Potter from downtown. Thompson looking at her options as well too. Here's Banks, puts it to the floor. Shot clock at five. Thompson fires from deep. Yes, Shana Thompson from downtown. Absolutely, she's been a bit of a spark. That has been for sure in the first half. Meanwhile, McCauley and Bradley with three fouls. That's kind of the big storyline going into the second half. Meanwhile, so he banks with the runner to get his scoring underway. Yeah, no, nice drive by Jim Potter, but just unfortunate she couldn't finish on that occasion. Meanwhile, Tompkins with the up and under gets it to go and has some advice as well too. Between them two, they've been working hard at Swish, and I know Paige Bradley has had some good advice for Angela Tompkins as well, too, for out as Tompkins gets the two to go on that play. Or the NBL1 app here on our live stream. Two other games being played tonight as well, too. We'll update you on those. Meanwhile, uh, Potter from downtown to get scoring on the way here, term number four. So Bradley comes down the floor, and she needs to go to Parker. So, Parker back to McCauley we go. McCauley decides to fire from deep. Yes. There it is. So nice job there by Caitlin Van Ness to knock down that mid-range jumper. Meanwhile, Bradley puts it to the floor. Kick out pass. Banks this time for three. Yes. There it is. As Potter brings the ball up the floor here for the Rangers. So Potter puts it to the floor. Nice drive and a nifty layup there as well yep. too. Standard they can set for themselves here. Yeah, well, it's an opportunity, isn't it, to show... Yeah. Show the coaching staff that you can talk on defense. What you don't want is to be minus eight. We'll pick up their first win is Kamik. Nearly got that one. And Siren goes and Hobart have finally broken the hoodoo and get their first win. And Dwayne Davey will be quite relieved.